Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at naming and drawing organic molecules for practice. Here are the general naming rules. First of all, find the longest chain of carbons which includes the functional group and number this chain from the end closest to the functional group. For functional groups such as alcohols, ketones and alkenes, the number of the carbon for the functional group is put into the name between the carbon prefix and the functional group suffix. For functional groups such as carboxylic acids and aldehydes, the functional group is always on carbon number one. For branches, name them in alphabetical order with a number for each branch. Where there are identical branches, you need to use the prefixes di and tri. For esters, the start of the name always comes from the alcohol and the second part of the name comes from the carboxylic acid. Let's look at a couple of examples. Here we have a carbon chain of five. On carbon number two, we have a carbonyl functional group, making this a ketone. And on carbon number three, we have a methyl group. To name this, we give the number for the methyl group, followed by the methyl branch. We then have five carbons, which have single bonds, so that is pentan. And on the second carbon, we have the ketone functional group, giving the suffix one, O-N-E, giving us three methyl, pentan, two one. Here's a second example. Here we have a carbon chain of six. On carbon number one, we have a carboxylic acid functional group. On carbons two and four, we have methyl groups, but this time we have multiple methyl groups. As these are all the same, we can use the prefix tri. We have to give a number for the location of each of the methyl groups. This means we have the numbers two, two, four, trimethyl, hexanoic acid. Pause the video now and name these alkanes and alkenes. Pause the video now and name these alcohols. Pause the video now and name these carbonyls.
pause the video now and name these carboxylic acids. Pause the video now and name these esters. Let's look now at drawing structures from names. To do this, you need to break the name up into different parts. Start from the end of the name where you can find the longest carbon chain. Draw this out and number the chain. Add the branches or functional groups at the appropriate carbons and then add hydrogens to bring each carbon to a valency of four. For esters, the first part of the name is always from the alcohol and the second half of the name is always from the carboxylic acid. Pause the video now and draw these alkanes and alkenes. Pause the video now and draw these alcohols. Pause the video now and draw these carbonyls. Pause the video now and draw these carboxylic acids.
Pause the video now and draw these esters. Pause the video now and try to name these mixed molecules. Pause the video now and try to draw these mixed examples. Thanks for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on videos throughout the year and flashcards. Bye for now!